Hello and welcome to the May Tree of Life, an A6 card with me, Emma Jo. So as you can see, A6 multifarious card and I'm using a Series 9 stencil brush and some Elements Ink Sundance. Just creating a bit of a, um, what would you call it? Like an N in the middle of the page. And then I'm adding some russet orange at the top and a little underneath. Then switching out into Elements Ink Confetti. There we go. Adding a bit more of that lovely pink. And then some Elements Ink Green Sleeves at the top and at the bottom. Super. Ink up your Tree of Life stamp with some Versifying Claire Nocturne. And try and get the base on where you've got the green sleeves because the green was there because it's going to act as your ground, your grass if you like. Crack, op crack open your Mondelēz watercolour pencils and I'm doing the trunk one side in a paler brown so follow the lovely lovely pattern that shows you know it, it twisting and twining around the trunk of the tree and remember where it crosses over you want a little bit of shadow underneath the one that's gone where it crosses over let me just get this right where it crosses over the one that's underneath needs a little bit of shading underneath the bit on top so it looks like it's actually going over. Now, as you can see, I've started a bit of a rule here. So I'm thinking that the main bit at the bottom would be a darker brown that then goes up into a paler brown and then goes up into this lovely olivey green and finishes off with a really bright green. I don't think we've got there yet. There he is, quick sharpen. So if you imagine those end bits of the buds. And just take your time, zone out into, you know, that colouring therapy, colouring therapy world. And that's what I certainly did here. Disappeared, just making sure that the ends were green. And then taking them in. Trying not to get the two browns together. So, in other words, if there were two branches, I didn't want two branches next to each other that were the same brown. Because you want it to you want it to be able to see how it's all twisting and turning into each other to create this tree. So there's a lot of shifting between colours here, but I think I've explained what I was doing. So darker wood starts at the bottom and slowly twirls up into a paler wood and then add some green. Now the patterning in between the twisty twisty viney bit of the trunk I've done in the two shades of green. And this is one of those things that you'll start doing it and then you'll think oh I finished. No, 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 I haven't. I can see something else, which is what's happening here. Okay, what's next? Right, I've grabbed some water on my paintbrush. You get one with the Mondelēz watercolour um, pencils. And I'm just putting a little bit of water on it, just to smooth out any um, colouring. So I've used a Ranger heat tool and some bottled water in the spray bottle and just giving it a quick heat then I've sprayed it and now I'm adding some pink at the bottom and you can see I've turned my pencil to the side because that gives a much gentler shade. Now this is Kuritaki Clean Colour Real Brush pens and I've gone for the dark green then the mid green. What's the betting there's going to be a really pale? Here it is! Here it is, the really pale green. There we go. And I'm just using a little bit there to highlight the green bits on the trunk that I'd done earlier. 
doesn't need to overtake where we've done the pencils, just gives it a helping hand. Fab. Fabulous, sorry. Okay, now, you might wonder what I'm doing. Well, I kept thinking it was like, you know, a maypole. And so I've, I'm adding some very, very pale pink ribbons using the Kuritaki Clean Colour Real Brush Pens. And trying to give this feeling of them blowing in the breeze. And then I've taken the darker pink just to do, if you like, a little bit of a loop over the branch that they're hanging from. And then taking that pink that we used earlier uh, in the Mondelez watercolour pencils just to go over some of those. And you can see them slowly coming to life. Now, I'm giving a bit of depth by using that very pale green. And it also helps balance the colours. Now, this is my Uniball. Here we are. Uniball Pen Broad Gold. And this is <laughs> the old favourite Posca pen, aqua green. And these are, you know, all those tiny little buds on the stamp of this tree. I've gone over these with this aqua green Posca pen. And I think it's rather delicious, personally. Nothing like a bit of aqua green, is there? Anyway, you might need to go over that twice, but rather than show you that, I've just shown you me doing it once, okay? So if you feel it's not bright enough, go over it again. Now I'm adding some aqua green at the bottom and here I'm doing circles and dots because you know how I like those. And I just keep thinking that roots are always the ones that take in the water. So I'm giving it some water if you like. And a couple of dots of aqua green in the air too. Right, this is a word. It's from the Three Blessings stamp set and it's happiness. And I'm used, I've inked it up in Versafine Claire Warm Breeze. And I'm not worrying about it being straight because I think it gives more action and more joy by being wonky. So I've got faith, hope and happiness. And just don't, don't go on overkill. Oh, and now we've moved on to a new stamp. I love this one. Thimbleweed stamp. And also bits from the floral wreath stamp set. Now the thimbleweed I've inked up in Warm Breeze and then I've gone in with the long catkin type stamp from the floral wreath stamp set and added extra there. Now we're going in with Fantasia now. Versifying Fair, Clant Versifying Fair, Versifying Claire Fantasia and just giving a little bit of extra depth. Looks great on top of the thimbleweed too. Fabulous. Right, now this is Elements Ink. I think it's, yes, it is Mermaid. And I've got my Series 9 stencil brush and I'm just going around the outside with it to give a bit of a frame, but I'm still darkening those corners with some Elements Ink Midnight Blue and a Series 3 stencil brush. It's literally just the edge and the corners because we've already got that lovely mermaid making everything zing. Right, here comes the Posca pen again. Aqua green, the old favourite. Now, on those stamps that we've used, the thimbleweed and the catkin from floral wreath stamp set, um, you've got lovely little bits of detail that if they've disappeared because we've put that that um, Elements Ink and Midnight Blue frame on it, just bring them back to life with some aqua green Posca pen and it'll all tie it in again and make it make sense. There we go. Emma Jo can't leave aqua green alone. Step away from the aqua green, Emma Jo. Right, back with some gold. And just dotting. Just makes all the difference. Now, 
Now this is a Zig 2A glue pen. And it's not squeeze and roll, it's the original Zig 2A glue pen. Just going around the edges, give it a bit of blast of heat with your Ranger heat tool. And Wildfab foils gold. There we go. So you let that glue, you heat the glue until it gets a bit tacky, like the back of a postage stamp, and then get your fab foil and run it along the edges and it'll attach to that tacky glue. How cool is that? There we go. Oh, going in with some liquid pearls. This is most unexpected. Prickly pear. And I'm literally putting this in the gaps on that tree. Don't go insane with it. You just need to be adding little dots and some lovely, delicate, tiny drops of the liquid pearl going down those ribbons that we put on earlier with our pencil and curly tucky clean colour real brush pens. And that just helps give it this lovely feeling of a gentle breeze blowing. And I've got some stickle sea foam that's going along some of the branches just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And you've got all that lovely pattern to follow. Super. Nothing wrong with a bit of sparkle. Add a few bits at the bottom. And this is stickle sunset. And I'm just doing the other vine side with that so there's color differentiation if you ever get something like some glitter stuck in one place grab a little paintbrush and just swoosh it out the way there we go stop now emma jo oh gold is this gold stickles gold stickles golden rod fab so extra little bits of flashy goldness and here's my pigma micron pen 0 0.5 and i'm just adding some stripes on one of the vines that was going up the tree and my friends you did it well done fabulous <laughs>